Hello and welcome. I had the revelation I want to share with us so that our eyes can be open. Barack Obama is up to something. Uh, a lot of people are saying Obama is the Antichrist. For me, I will say he's not the Antichrist, but he is one of the Antichrists. The Antichrist is going to manifest in a single person, but before he comes, we will have a lot of Antichrist and even his followers, uh, those who are going to work with him and persecute Christians, they are all Antichrist. But Obama, to me, I will say he is one of the Antichrist. I had a vision. I saw the face of Obama and as I was looking at it, just the face, it transformed into the face of Jesus Christ. And God spoke to me and said, this is what Obama is trying to do. He is trying to present himself as a savior to the world. He wants to bring himself out as Christ. But inwardly, he is a wolf in sheep clothing. We should be watchful. Let us pray, especially for the, for the government of Donald Trump. Donald Trump is there because God has placed him there. Let us pray for him. Under the guise of Obama Foundation, Obama wants to influence the world again. Obama is influencing the whole world. In, he is bringing hundreds of world leaders together in October, next month. Let us pray. His plans against humanity will never stand. I tell people that uh, I've gone through the history of uh, the U.S. for some time, not in a very detailed uh, uh, level, but I have a little knowledge. I have never seen any president of the United States that has done so much harm to humanity than Obama. Obama has done so much, so much. He is a satanist and he wants to promote satanism. Obama is up to something. Let us pray. So that God will foil and destroy all his evil plans. So that the, the, the satanist, the satanic kingdom that is pushing him, we never, never succeed against the church. Obama hates the church. He hates any United States president that is a true believer, that is a true Christian. Obama is never a Christian. Let us not buy his lies. Because Satan is behind him. The Satanists are behind him. Uh, just watch a video clip and see what Obama is trying to do. He is disrespecting Donald Trump. He's not in office, but he's still acting like a president at some level. By this October, we're bringing together hundreds of leaders from all around the world for hands-on exchange of ideas in my hometown and the future site of the Obama Presidential Center, the city of Chicago. This leadership summit will be a place to gather and learn from one another, and then go back to your communities to lead others in the hard work of change. In the weeks and months ahead, we'll be kicking off more initiatives and opportunities for people like you to get involved with the Obama Foundation's mission. That mission is simple. We want to inspire and empower people to change the world. And we hope Obama just announced summit in Chicago. We'll bring 100s of world leaders together in attempts to take over presidency. As Obama pushes his upcoming Obama Foundation summit to be held in Chicago, the main theme is about change. Obama has broke from a long tradition of previous presidents staying out of the current president's way repeatedly and has even bought a home just minutes from the White House in an attempt to undermine President Trump at every opportunity. This time Obama is blatantly announcing his plan that will bring together hundreds of leaders from all around the world. Obama will most certainly use this summit as a stage to promote his liberal agenda and do as much damage to President Trump's credibility on the world stage. Let us 
be watchful and pray for the church. Let's pray for the world. Let's intercede for Donald Trump. A lot of times God has asked me to pray for Donald Trump. Even, I think this, this week, this week, God said, reminded me, I asked you to be praying for Donald Trump. Let us pray for him. He is a human being. He can face pressure and bow to the witches of the devil. I mean, satanic agents who are turning the U.S. and the world upside down. So let us support him in prayer. Thank you. God bless you.